Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special economic weather report brought to you in association with the BNZ. Earlier today I went to the Sky City Conference Centre where Bill English, the Finance Minister, presented his National Infrastructure Plan. Which is interesting, he's looking a bit longer term, out 10, 20 years on the sort of infrastructure holes that we have in New Zealand. And he identified a couple, including the shortage of a second crossing across the Auckland Harbour. But more importantly, I think, he talked about the immediate outlook for New Zealand's net foreign debt. He said that he just received forecasts from Treasury showing that New Zealand's net foreign debt position, so this includes private debt and public debt, is likely to rise to $240 billion by 2014. Now that's currently up from $170 billion. Now what does this mean? Well, actually, currently, debt to GDP is at a relatively high rate of nearly 95, 96%. Now for most people overseas that's just too high. You can't continue to do that in a sustainable way, but the rest of the world seems to have ignored us. And so I went on to ask Bill English in a press conference afterwards, how sustainable is it for New Zealand to run a current account deficit of close, to, in fact over 100% of GDP? I also asked him about the problems with New Zealand's leaky buildings in Auckland and the potential for the government to have to bail out owners of leaky buildings. But firstly, what about the sustainability of that high net foreign debt? Now, what it shows is just the, the absolute necessity of getting this economy earning more because we need to service that debt and the cost of servicing it's going to grow uh, and we need to be turning around our habit of spending more than we earn so we stop the debt growing. At the moment it's forecast to consistently get bigger. But that's not sustainable, is it, over 100% of GDP? Other countries uh, with those sorts of net debt levels are um, facing real problems raising money. Well, I think it just makes us more vulnerable. We're in pretty good shape for borrowing money now. Uh, there's no evidence that people are, that anyone, the markets are worried about us. Uh, but if it looked like that our external liabilities were um, rising too fast, uh, we would be vulnerable to, for instance, another recession coming along. So it's about reducing our vulnerability rather than any, yeah, reducing our vulnerability to future shocks, uh, not any specific concern right now. How much of a risk for this year's budget is the leaky buildings issue, which um, was reported on the weekend could cost more than $20 billion? Well, the government's been going through a process with local bodies looking at um, different solutions for leaky buildings because there are so many people who need an answer. It's also becoming clear the government's got its own problems, particularly in education, where there's a number of schools uh, that uh, have been built um, to a, to, to a built with enough problems that they could now be classified as leaky buildings. So yeah, it's a significant risk for us, either either for ourselves or for any participation in a solution. Is that factored in to your? equations here, you know, there's such a huge amount of money we're talking about with leaky homes. Has the government considered that on the books as well? Well, we, we, um, we aren't there's been some big estimates about the you know the total long-term liability but as I said there's been some discussions that have had publicity uh, with local government over whether there are better solutions than the existing process that pushes people through a very legalistic uh, to a very legalistic solution and that's still under discussion These but it, but if it's too big that it's it's uh, over exaggeration because you can find a way of doing it better and cheaper well look the the argument has always been about cost sharing so there might be a total liability across local government homeowners who uh, local government and homeowners. Um, so the point I'm making is that there's, there's no way the government's going to be assuming would would assume that whole liability onto its books. There are ongoing discussions about better solutions. But if you're going to um, help fix the problem, you'll have to lend possibly more than ten billion dollars to homeowners. Doesn't that become an issue for our sovereign credit rating? Well, look, I'll just wait and see where our discussions get to over better solutions. Uh, but there's no doubt for New Zealand Incorporated, uh, the le leaky buildings issue represents a big contingent liability when we're already facing growing liabilities. Uh, again, it just means that shows the urgency of the need for better economic performance and policies that are going to help it. So there we have it, Finance Minister Bill English talking about New Zealand's fiscal situation and the risks involved with the leaky building crisis. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special economic weather report brought to you in association with the BNZ.